Hi, welcome to Pia's Creative Corner. My name is Pia and this is about diamond painting. This video is going to be a whip and chat and whip stands for work in progress, chat stands for talk about everything. Um, so, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will enjoy being here. Look around, check it out. If you do like it, please subscribe so you can be notified every time I put something new up. If you're one of my subscribers or followers, welcome back. I hope you will enjoy this video as much as everything else I've done. Um, so let's get started. This picture I'm doing is uh, by Josephine Wall, and uh, she's unfortunately it's a discontinued uh, picture because uh, Diamond Art Club, which is where I bought it from does not have a license agreement with Josephine Wall anymore. I was one of the lucky ones that just got to know Diamond Art Club and Josephine Wall before the contract uh, a license agreement uh, expired. So uh, I have this one is Taurus. I have Gemini and I have done Aquarius last year and I have Spirit of Flight. That's it. Uh, I am thinking about doing a cross disc conversion uh, of one of the other ones I know that um, came from uh, Diamond Art Club. So, and I think it's two or three pieces uh, I have been looking at from Heaven and Earth Design. But yeah, more if that is going to be an actual thing. Um, the picture is uh, 70 by 88 centimeter. It's by with square stones. There are 64 colors. Four of them are AB coded. Uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and um, it's it, it means Northern Light. It gives them a certain um, shine. Um, what else? Uh, well, I'm in week three, at the end of week three, and I am, let's see, this is how much I have left to be done. So, let's see if I can just, this is how much is left, okay? So... That is not much. I think this is uh, the end of the three and a half row left. And this is the end of the first row. Then I have a row more. And then the long one, which is the same as one and a half. So that's what I have to do for next week. And this week I've done two rows. So it's going to be tight next week if I'm going to get there. But uh, maybe, <clears throat> um, because I'm like, I can't, I won't be doing anything in the weekend because I'm doing my new picture in the weekend. So uh, instead of stressing about that, I'm not going to do it. Maybe the next week I'm going to, it's going to take me five weeks instead. Or maybe four and a half weeks or something like that. So. Um, and I ha and it's okay because I haven't kitted up the next picture, but I have been thinking of doing that in a Twitch live streaming. So, and then maybe be doing something diamond painting and maybe an unboxing. So I'm not sitting down for three hours doing diamond painting because I can't do that where I do my live streamings. Uh, that's only in here I can do that I want to show you some of my I've got three new, three new cover minders this is one of them I think it's adorable oops I just need my camera to focus there you go so it says if it if it's reading upside down or um, like not upside down but if if it's not reading you can if you can't read it then it says just one more chapter and I've got this one that says stay positive and I've got this one that says sensitive as fuck so that's my three new cover minders um, 
I'm gonna have some more uh, and my thoughts are that uh, I might be giving some away in some giveaways just some small giveaways and if it's that size I might do it for everyone also the international because that's equivalent to a letter and it won't be as expensive for me to distribute um, I did a giveaway for some cover minders for these uh, for my Danish followers and that was a really actually I don't know if it was a success in that sense that there were so many that wanted them but it was about 10 or 11 people that were in a raffle so and it was still two persons that were really happy about winning them so yeah in that sense I think it was a success um okay for this picture oops I'm just gonna please don't look at my clothes <laughs> um yeah I'm a bit sensitive about my looks and that's why I you know it's my hands you see I'm I'm I want to be pretty open about it even though I'm not gonna be, I'm a bit camera shy but um <laughs> that said that uh I don't mind being on camera as long as you can't see my face or my body as long as it's just my hand and my voice everything is okay so I know you will here and there get a glimpse of whatever but I just have to live with that and keep going okay um yeah <clears throat> I'm going to use these two pens today working on my picture I'm go these are from a Danish shop called Norse Alchemist and um, it's he's really skilled this one is with pure resin and dried flowers and this one is with wood in one end and resin in the other this one is just all spring and Easter for me this one is like spring because it's still a bit you know, these are inspired, I know this because it told me, these are inspired by the Northern Lights, so it's still a bit wintry, but underneath the surface, as I see it, like it, this in the end is like ice, so underneath the ice, the in the, uh, in the soil, um, there will be spring flowers waiting for the warm and the sun, so... So these are so much now, I think. I would have wished that I have had some Unimix spring trays. I don't. So this is more functional wise. I'm using the Munimate trays. Uh, I'm really happy about the Munimate trays and I'm hoping that I'm on the I'm on the waiting list to order some Unimate trays, so hopefully uh, it will be my turn. I think when we reach summer, I'm, I'm going to be on the list. They're going to reach my number, but when they do, I'm going to, of course, order some trays. So, And I was this close ordering uh, a Munimate kit because they were... A restocking and I saw it this morning and I was like okay I might oh uh, should I I think actually I did see it last night before I went to bed I was like mm, should should not and I didn't I kept I kept my non buy uh, thing I'm not happy about it because I really wanted a piece but um, yeah guess just gonna turn this bit down um, um, when we talk about setups and lights, what I would recommend, what I can recommend is buying a good, uh, love, a good light, um, from above. So you have, um, a light where you can change the, um, how much light you're get, getting. So if it's going to be a really bright light or it's gonna be more like a soft light 
uh, and then I can change the color so it goes from a blue blue slash white color to a yellow to a uh, what is that that is more like a light um, no light yellow to a dark orange I think you could call it so and that's actually really good sometimes uh, with some prints uh, it's good to have light upon your print but not too much and and when I'm doing these recordings it is actually also good because depending on what light I'm getting from outside my setup here when I do recording these videos I have the daylight from coming in from the side I can pull the curtains down but then I won't get the daylight so I still want the light I just don't want the Sun uh, yeah it's a thing okay come on um if you've seen some of my other videos I sometimes I do record from the side this video I have chosen to record a bit from the back uh, of my um, table that means that you will see the thing opposite but I thought as long as I'm not talking about what we are looking how the um, how the picture is looking you it will be okay because I think this video I will do focus a m bit more on how I do things and so you can see the rhythm and so and I know I say this a lot and I do it a lot but I also do think that it, that it is actually really important and it is a way to even if you're really new to the, to diamond painting or haven't done diamond painting at all that is really a good way to see how what do they do I mean okay you have you you take a stone you put it down but but how is the flow? I mean, I did actually, I, I was looking for that when I was first started and I couldn't find any. So I was like, hmm, okay. So that is why I do focus a bit more on it than maybe other creators do. In my pens, I have micro glue dots. That is these ones, bought on Amazon. And on my multiplicers, I have, uh, let's see yep. I have this one that is enables outpost and I have randers in the other one practical yeah I have two from Merrimod and I do save them a bit I am waiting from free three from randers coming and I ordered one more from JD gem shop with my kit so I should get four from Randa and then I'm gonna buy some more here when I get paid next time so hopefully that in the future I will have a bit more because I, I really would love to not use the pink wax this one as much uh, it's not that because I have enough and a lot of them actually but it does annoy me a bit that I do have to change it <clears throat> so very often which I don't have to when it's when I use the party scent, scented party. So okay, let's get see what what should we start with. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, and should I use the big one or the small one? I think I'm just gonna use this one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna use where is it? This one. I'm gonna place this one. I'm gonna take this one. Okay, when I choose because this one of the things that is you know about J Ward, Josephine Ward's pictures, there's a lot of colours. And it is a bit more to the confetti size than the colour blocking size. All the um, most of the first lay first sizes sections of 
rows of this picture are more the color blocking side but I will admit it <laughs> when you get down to where the actual action is happening this is where all the color changes are coming it's beautiful it's gorgeous but it also can get a bit uh, confusing I will say or annoying or uh, consuming <laughs> Whatever can I put but put on? Um, so how I I do it to what I do not to get to me is a bit I do I do a bit bit big I try again I do a bit bigger sections than I usually do. Usually my sections are like this size, and with this I'm actually doing double sizes or even three gang three times the sizes but at least double sizes it depends uh, a lot about what I am um, what I'm doing because for instance on this row the first uh, part of the row it's uh, more like butterflies and um, grass then you go over in the girls uh and then the ball so i did the butterflies in one as one thing and the girls in another thing and then the ball is one thing here and i'm i'm a bit into the last section too so and i will work on i try to work on getting as much done before evening or before i have to go to a, to go and take a nap um so so the next thing I do is actually deciding what, of course, what uh, symbol I'm going after. I'm going after a, yeah, just the next symbol in a way. And then I'm using my cover paper here to just make only available a limited amount of symbols because otherwise I tend to get overwhelmed or it tend to get a little chaotic for me and I am then then I'm kind of then I'm kind of losing the um yeah what you what do you call it the energy for doing the picture and um and if I keep it up I I will just give up on it so I don't know if that is what happened when people say that they um, that they don't think they can do the big ones. I could, I would imagine that that would be a problem. So, so, so to me, at least here in the beginning, I'm doing kind of the thing, you know. So I'm really careful to do just to reveal just one one small line or column at the time and do that and first of all what it does is it makes it possible for me to just get in the zone and do the diamond painting but it also helps me make sure that I do get all the symbols and that's not even um and sometimes that seems not enough but it does anyway not maybe every every single symbol but it anyway it helps me a lot in trying to get every symbol <laughs> let's just say that what i was just removing was just a dark hair that is just a thing most of the time, I don't care. If it's just a small hair, I'm just leaving it. Okay. So, but it is so, I I want to make the, uh, you know, the thing where I have to uh, go back and make it all over again. Um, a smaller, small, the chances of the risk smaller, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, so this is how I work and it is a bit more 
difficult or what you should say when there's a lot of stones because I can't just it's not just gluing to the um, to the canvas as it does when it's the one of the first colors you do it with but yeah it's okay I can I can do it I can handle it um the question is should I because I think yeah it's not that much here it does change a bit because this one here down underneath is not as much but as you can see I do single place a lot um, at this point and that's yeah of course I do so what I just was checking so I'm just gonna do it one line at a time instead up here so starting up here and if I'm saying say one two one three one one two one two and I'm just taking and one so what I just said there was the number of stone I placed every time so I'm gonna do it again try and <laughs> and listen and not make notes but listen and take um, take in how spread the numbers are so it's nothing like I do six or ten or seven or eight it's um, one Two, one, one, two, one, 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 two. One. So, and of course you can you can do it the other way. So you will get if I did it this way, I will get two two, and then three one one. So I will get the same, um, just in in columns instead of lines. So, but that is how I do it, and I think actually I'm gonna do like this. Um, talk if I'm gonna work and talk at the same time, it's <laughs> it's a bit, yeah, it's a thing, it's a thing. So, but but so, even though I'm talking, and if you're doing something else, please, anyway, sometimes look at what I do. If this is uh, if this is an issue for you, if the multi placing and uh, you and you a bit uh, worried about the big pictures please take notes or see look at what I do and then when you have you are kind of fill up, filled with information you can just go on and do your own diamond painting or whatever and then just listen to what I say and of course I'm not going to decide what you should do I'm, I'm only encouraging you okay it's not like if you don't do what I say then <clears throat> okay so sorry excuse me oh I need a drink <laughs> My sticky mat is not so sticky anymore. That's one. <laughs>
that's one thing I'm battling about a bit here, but it's okay. It will, it will do to this. I will change it later. Um, when I started, uh, when I start again on the picture, maybe Monday, I will give it some new sigmas. But just for now, I'm not, because there will be other things to um, attend to. So, I hope you guys are doing well and that life is treating you well. I hope that wherever you are, you are a place where... Um, I hope that where you are, even though it might be winter time where you are, that it's still a place where life is treating you good. Um, here in Denmark, the spring is just around the corner and you can feel it, you can smell it, but it's still cold and um, we still get some, we get, we got a lot of rain this week um, and it's still freezing in the night, but it is getting really springy out there. A lot of the spring flowers are just coming and yeah, the dog is crazy. So, and you can see it on his coat that he is shedding a bit more and we're going to do a bit more grooming this um, at this time of year than we usually do. I'm not that good at grooming him because he doesn't have that much uh, undercoat that other flat-coated retrievers has, so... He's just going to get, I'm just going to brush him and yeah, that's it. Maybe cut a bit of his hair on, uh, between his uh, paw, uh, what you, toes and underneath his paws. That's it. The old one we had, he had a lot of, he just had a lot of fur coat. And um, I mean, I was grooming him a lot. I was... Um, what do you call it, cutting his hair, and yeah, it was a mess, but he was always nice, so, but there was a lot of hair, fur, and a lot of coat, and a lot of hair everywhere, that's not that bad with this one, so apparently that is a bit of different from dog to dog, even though it's, it's a, it is a breed that usually have a lot of fur, but this one didn't wrote, didn't read that part of the manual. He didn't read the part that says he's a very high energy dog. Um, he does not know that, and he does not know that he should be really crazy about water. I mean, the old one we had, he couldn't pass a small puddle of water without just. We go absolutely banana in it and crazy and run and lay down in it and be, oh, water. This one, he is tiptoeing all the way around it and he's not getting his paws wet, really, for that puddle. But if it's something that could just cool sample a small lake like thing, then he don't mind. Then he would. Then he loved to go out and explore. And when we go to the sea, to the beach, he is absolutely crazy. That water he liked, and that water he could stay in for hours and hours and hours. And he doesn't care if it's winter or summer, what the weather is like. He's just jumping right into it. But not when it rains. Mm -mm -mm. So, and it's so funny, he can... He can go, if you go close enough to the house, he's not getting wet uh, because of how our roof is. So when it rains, he's always, when we go to for our walks, then he will go just along the house as long as he can. And then at, at the end, he has to go out in the rain. It's like, oh, I have to go out in the rain. 
if it's at in the evening and he has to go out and it's raining, he will pause at our patio and just look up and kind of, oh, how much is it raining? This is really now, how much do I need to go out there? So yeah, sometimes I kind of have to do a mental push and say, come on, go out and get over with. It's like, okay. So yeah. He's a bit of quirky one with that thing. We did have a, another dog. Oh, we didn't, but my um, husband had a dog when him and I moved together. And that was an Austrian pincher, it was called, um, or an Austrian farm dog. Not like a shepherd, but a farm dog. So it's just breed that are made to watch out for the farm and be kind of an alert if anyone is coming. So he did bark a lot, but he was a lot like uh, this with the rain. If it did rain, he didn't go out. Uh -uh. So it, if it was a whole day of rain, he would run out to the fence, lift up his leg, pee, and then run back in. There was no sniffing around, nothing. And if he was made, if we put a leash on him and we forced him, it was really like forcing him out in the rain. He was really looking like, you are being violent against me and you are doing nasty things against me when you are dragging me out in the rain. It did help that he got some company by another dog, by my dog. So when we took both of them out, it was like, okay, okay, she's going out, I'm going out because she might sniff at something that I don't. So if she does that, I will, there's something I'm not a part of and I can't have that. So, yeah. One thing, one day I laughed my, so hard that I almost peed my pants with these two dogs because uh, we were out in the kitchen and we had these two dogs sitting, not in the kitchen, but just on the doorstep. And then I dropped a piece of broccoli. I actually, yeah, I dropped one piece and I threw another piece. So there were one piece for every dog. So, and the small one, he was just, he just ate it. I mean, he was munching it down. My dog, which was a long-haired German Shepherd, she knew what it was. She sniffed at it. She looked at it. Then she looked at him and he was like, are you going to eat that? Are you going to eat that? And she looked back and then she took the broccoli like, I mean, like in her, te with her teeth and she chewed at it really like, I'm not liking this at all. I'm doing it only so he's not eating it. And you could just see it. It was not like, mm -hmm. she was just, ah. Uh, Oh, oh, oh. biting in it and then swallowing it. <laughs> it was so funny. But he was but he was just, you know, he was really watching every move she made because if she dropped something, she, he would be there and move it away. So yeah. That was so funny. Um The one we have now is really He's just so spoiled. I'm a bit... I have to really think of what I do because next year we are thinking of bringing a puppy into the family and so I can't just let him do what he wants. I have to keep some rules around him because otherwise he's just going to teach the puppy a lot of things. I don't want it to learn. So, yeah. That's the thing. Okay, <laughs> back to the diamond painting. This was a bit about my life. Now, back to the diamond painting. Okay, I'm gonna put a bit closer. So, as you can see, I do use my multiplacer. So, it's not like, even though there's a lot of confetti, there, it's not like I'm not using my multiplacer at all. I use my multiplicer as often as I can. And sometimes I even use it just to place one. If I have placed a lot and then there's just one left, I'm using the multiplicer to place that one too. Of course I am. 
but otherwise I'm just turning the pen around and that gets to be an emotion and it's just gonna be emotion in the hand to flip it it's not something I think that much about um, People so often, very often actually, people do ask me, they ask me two things um, when they kind of get to know me and they I don't know, it's sometimes I feel like people are afraid of asking me and I'm, and I'm like, please, please ask me, please, but it's like, mm, I don't know, and I'm ac actually, I kind of something, sometimes I think, am I really that intimidating, you know, is, is, is it really that? dangerous to ask me something but mm, yeah I don't know but anyway if people ask me or if I or if they ask something in a group it is a lot to do with first how do you multiplace second how do you finish this big of a picture so fast okay I will try and answer it again uh, and and the reason why I really want to repeat myself is because there's always new ones coming uh, to join this wonderful way of crafting, and um, and I do believe that there's a lot more going on when you do complete one of the big pictures. Um, and I do believe that when I, I mean, it's sometimes it like people just settle in with bad quality and bad pictures. It's like you just spend four hours doing that really not good looking picture. If you just, if you just bought another one, I know the other one costs twice as much. But you will use maybe the same amount of hours, but the result of it will be so much more pleasant, and you will feel a much more feel of accomplishment when you're done with it. Um, that is one of the reasons why I do the big ones is because I do feel when I'm done with it that it is so much more like the original I see online. And that's one thing I like. So that's one, one of the reasons why I do it. How, how I do the, I mean, multi-placing is part of how I finish my pictures fast. Another one I do think is that I'm really, a, I'm kind of a structure geek so or not so i'm really my brain is so aligned in the structure way so i'm just finding new patterns to do things way to do things and when i find a good way i'm doing that every day every time like um i don't i don't start in the middle of the canvas. I always start on the upper left corner. Then I go across, drop down, go across, drop. and that's, I just do that. And to me, in the beginning, it was actually someone who showed me that that was the way she was working. I was like, oh, that makes sense. And I, what I found is that I'm not getting that easily bored. So even though there's a lot of color blocking place, and it might be because it's a black background. Um, I'm still getting something with a color uh, faster if I'm doing this across motion or zigzag, sorry, zigzag motion, than if I'm doing just one on on the um, doing a, around the whatever is in the middle. Um, so like someone does. I mean, I would die if I should do all the black. For instance, the mystery painting I just did, the background is black. And if I'm kind of just did the background, I would, yeah, I couldn't do that. So, so I do think that's one part of it. 
that I'm really a structure geek so and I have this pattern I work out from um, so I do use my cover papers to help me to keep the structure in a good working progress um, um, and the and the structured thing, the pattern thing, is also when I do this, when I figure out what to do next, uh, and and I kind of keep it there. I always find, you know, now I'm I'm kind of at the end with this color here, and the end is right here. So I'm doing all of this, and then at the same time, just saying, okay, there's not none of that here in the end. So I'm just just gonna do that at the end. Then I'm going up again, taking the next next color, do it, do 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 it again. The next color, do 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 it, and it seems like well, that's of course piece of cake, but I think that a lot of people might get sidetracked on the you know, um, on the way, and that is easy. I do I do get sidetracked, but when I does, it does take a longer time. So if I do use my pattern and follow it, I am doing these really fast, really quick, uh, than if I don't. So this one is, um, this one is on week three, as I said. And when people ask me how, when, how long for, it takes for me to do these pictures, I usually say that if it is a picture in the area of 60 by 80, um, uh, it will take me around uh, four weeks, three to four weeks, depending on how much color blocking, how much confetti. So this being a 70 by 88 centimeter, it does make sense that it will take me a bit longer so that it takes me four to five weeks is, yeah, it's just absolutely normal. And another thing is, I don't, I don't think it's as I hurry because I need to be done uh, within four weeks or five weeks or whatever. I'm still just doing it my pace. It's not... Um, yeah, I'm not stressing about it. It's not like, oh, I have to be done. I have to be so and so quick because that's what people say or that's what I say. So if it takes me five weeks, it takes me five weeks. If it takes me four weeks, it takes me four weeks. I mean, when I did the Randall Spangler picture with the puppies, I was kind of thinking because it, even though it was, I think it's a 52 or something, 50 something, by 110, it's a or 112, 15, like that. I um, it's a really long one, and I remember it because when I did the unboxing, I kind of did this motion. I rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled. I was like, "How big is this pic? It is quite big. It's quite long the picture." So, but it only took me two weeks. Um, I think two or two and a half week. And when I was talking with some of my diamond painting friends, I was saying, how long do you think that takes? I said, at least five weeks because it is so long. But the thing was that there was a lot of color blocking in it. And that, um, yeah, I did uh, some of the, because it was kind of, uh, I could do it like, book one book at a time or two books at a time so yeah that I think was partly that that there was a bit structure in the picture and that made it so much easier for me I didn't have to think much about it I could just say okay I'm done with this book on to the next one so yeah and I enjoyed it really much and I enjoyed doing this picture I enjoy really it's not like I'm oh, I'm going to do this Josephine wall picture. And it's just a lot of color changing confetti thing. Um, it's just, I have, I have looking, I have looked so much forward to do this. I saw one of my Australian connections 
did it and I was like, oh, I have that one in my stash. Oh, and that is gorgeous. I am going to do that as soon as I possibly can. Uh, and that's now. Uh, and it is really beautiful picture. So, so I will say that whatever pace you are doing your diamond painting in, that is the right pace. There is no one saying that you should do or finish a picture at the same pace as me, for instance, or as anyone else. You do you. I do me. And uh, I, of course, there's a, a little bit you think. I do completely understand if people are like, oh, she gets so much done in so short period of time. I... Be, beside that, the thing that I'm really good at multiplacing, or I do it a lot, and that the organizing or stru structuring thing, I don't have small kids. I uh, have big kid. I have one big kid and one husband. I'm not cooking dinner. My husband is. Um, I'm not working full time. Uh, I can't do that, unfortunately, because of my body. So, I'm um, actually, this is one of my ways to manage my pain without uh, dragging myself to unconsciousness. So, it is a way to be awake, have really, really a lot of pain, and still be, people can be around me. Um, what I do is I put something in my ear and I'm just submerging myself into the diamond painting world and uh, waiting for the really bad pain to stop, to take a pause and then just go back to my normal pain level and when that happens I can be with other people again. So, and uh, yeah. So I love doing my diamond painting. Um, I also are aware of that I have to uh, kind of challenge myself a bit. So beside of me doing bigger pictures, I'm also doing cross stitch conversion. That is my next project. It is not a huge, huge picture. It's a big picture sorry excuse me it's a big picture but it's not huge i'm doing a huge later <laughs> first i'm doing this one i'm just dipping my toes in the puddle and i'm doing this one uh but there are a lot of really beautiful cross stitch patch patterns and i was actually talking to one of the girls last night and she was like well um, look at these flowers uh, I got in and they were really beautiful and I said well do you get them like that said so, no she just sat down and put it up to get them sorted so it's like when I'm kidding up she kid it up so she can just see all her for colors and stuff like that so yeah I was like oh oh okay Hmm, maybe I should look a bit more into this cross stitch thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so far, I'm doing this and I want to do... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a muni kit. I want to do a one more, one or two more of Jada Jam shop. That is not it's a cross stitch conversion, but just her ordinary. Um, she has a lot of fan art, uh, so I was thinking of getting one of those. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe, maybe here next time I get paid. So, and I think with Jada Gem Shop, um, the thing for me is that I just need to, you know, order things and just forget about them and that's it with the cross stitch is that i'm so excited about it so i kind of think i was a bit uh, i'm not very patient about it so um yeah 
I'm, I'm just gonna, I just have to, next time, for the next one, I just have to um, order what I need and then forget about it. And then be very pleasant whenever it turns out. And just trust the process that it will turn out and I will get a notification when she ships it and stuff like that. So, yeah. I and and I think that some of it is partly because I think I misunderstood something she wrote to me. So I'm um, I thought some of it was mailed directly to me and some of it wasn't. But it's okay, no problems, no worries. Uh it is she is mailing everything in one in one package and that's good. I'm just looking forward to it. Um, I think what I want to do is for the next picture, I need before I pay for the pattern, I need a bit of advice what to choose. Because you can choose all these sizes, all these different sizes and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to choose. Um... I just want that picture in a good size. So, what 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 should I choose? Um, so yeah, that that's a thing I need to get sorted next time. Um, but it's okay. So um, so I think for me where I am with my diamond painting at the moment, at least, um, the um, I'm going to do bigger pictures of course i'm going to do a lot of the pictures i already have not all a lot all of them uh in some point of time uh i have at the moment i think it's about 30 or 40 pictures so it's not like i'm not having any picture i do have pictures um and it's not like i'm not buying ever again from diamond art club of course i am at least because I have a lot, lots of points, so I have to use them. Um, at least uh, latest next year. Um, I think it's March, spring next year. I think it is. Uh, so, um, so I, I do have to use those points at one and one point at a time. Um, but. But I do want to. I do want to buy from other companies. Um, the challenge about that is that it's really expensive for me to buy from other companies. So if it's not Oloa, Dreamer Design, or DIC, it's I have to count in the import taxes and duty fees, and that is at least around 40 to 50 dollars more on top of the other price so it is a bit more expensive but i reckon it is worth it and why i say it is worth it is because i will get access to pictures that no one else has and that is something i like i really like doing something that when i show it that people are like oh that is beautiful where did you get that from? And I'm like, oh, that's a cross stitch conversion. I did it, get it from so and so, and I that took me so and so, and yeah, I want to do that. And maybe I can, maybe I can inspire some people to do that, to take that plunge into the cross stitch conversion world, because I actually do think that it has a lot to give to the diamond painting world. So yeah. Maybe you kind of get the feeling. I don't know. Now I said before that you wouldn't have to see what whatever that was. But I would say I can slowly see how the bull is coming alive. Even though it's really spread out with all these colors. Um, you can say within here the bull's color. There's one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i think in all in all there's about 13 or 14 colors just for the ball so but it does make 
the book very um you get a lot of detail in the face and in the skin and like so and that you won't get if it's just one brown color i know that and that's and that to me is also why i buy these diamond art cups it is because i do get all the details uh from that is really like how the original is so yeah and one more thing i might do in in some some day is buy from the german Diamond Painting Germany, just to try out the double-sided adhesive and the Josephine Wall picture, because their Josephine Wall pictures are huge in the color section. They have around between 100 and 200 colors. I was like, wow, this has 64, and I'm still like, I think this is really a beautiful picture. Um, so what more do you get when you go up to a uh, 50 to 100 colors more. Uh, I did see a comparison and I must say it's not much. Okay. I will keep on working with this and then I might go on Twitch on this Friday night. Uh, I will put this live hopefully during the day so you can see this whenever it suits you. But my thought is going live Friday night on twitch and do it as a regular thing if i can uh it, it it is a bit of a stretch for me but friday is the best day because i have been off work all day so until i see you again either on twitch in this in one of these videos or if you stop by on my live streaming on youtube sundays wherever we will suddenly see each other again until then Take care, stay safe, bye.